Military veteran Chris Brass says the VA facility in White City saved his life. For me, it was primarily just a suicidal thoughts. It wasn't a military experience, but a personal issue that Brass says broke him. He called a 1-800 number available for veterans when he realized his symptoms. I got locked up in the acute ward for uh, suicide ideation. They determined that uh, they didn't have the services or the resources at that facility to give me the best care I needed. That's how I ended up here in White City. With counseling, people are able to improve. Ben Bryan is the Suicide Prevention Coordinator for the Veterans Affair Clinic in White City. They offer a wide variety of services, including counseling to vets who suffer from suicidal thoughts, post-traumatic stress disorder, and other mental illnesses. But trying to overcome any illness can be an uphill battle. Just the idea of getting started is the most important thing, to reach out for help, to ask for assistance. Um, many people, especially veterans, feel like there's a stigma in requesting mental health care. That was very difficult for me to accept. Um, I was getting services through the VA that was not military related, but they were still there to help. But not everyone seeks help, and that's why Brian says family and friends need to recognize the signs of any mental illness. Someone who seems to be kind of hyper aroused and looking for threats all the time, someone who can't relax. No longer feeling that way, Brass is thankful he had help. It gave me an opportunity to reevaluate my life, to find something and get involved with something that I enjoyed that was uh, meaningful to me. In White City, Kyle Lieberman, NBC5 News.